Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to share some quick thoughts about the Sony 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. And uh, this is not gonna be a really detailed review, but hopefully you guys find this useful. So this is a very small pancake lens for crop sensor Sony cameras. And first of all, what I like about this, I mean, obviously it's uh, nice and compact, but also it is very wide for such a budget lens that, you know, is included with a lot of cameras and uh, you can buy it on its own for pretty cheap as well. This is 16 to 50 on a slightly larger sensor than Canon. Sony crop cameras have 1.5 crop rather than 1.6 crop, which is a, a little bit of a noticeable difference. You can actually see the difference there. And they're giving you a wider lens. So the end result is noticeably wider. And that is very nice, I think. It's uh, overall just uh, quite nice to use and obviously doesn't work on full frame cameras unless you're in crop mode. The image quality here is fine. I didn't have any problems with it. I'm uh, not gonna pixel peep into it. Of course, this is a budget kit lens, so you're not getting a large aperture or anything, but it is actually pretty nice to use. I uh, don't particularly like the focus and zoom rings on it, but since this is uh, a fully electronic lens, then, you know, I'm using autofocus with something like this most of the time. And uh, so you've got a uh, zoom button here and a uh, zoom slash focus button here, uh, or, or ring, but it's kind of a button since it's all electronic and that means that you don't really get super smooth results with it. The amount that it focuses depends on the speed that you move it, not on the amount that you move it. So that could focus you all the way to infinity, whereas the same amount of movement, if you do it slowly, will only move you slightly. It's really terrible to use. I don't know why Sony thought that was a good idea and they still keep doing it even on their most expensive lenses. I think it's really stupid, but <laughs> for a lens like this, I'm using autofocus most of the time, not a big issue. And, uh, you know, it would, it would be amazing if Sony fixed that, but maybe it's a limitation of the way the motors work or something, I don't know. So this is, uh, well, it is what it is. It's affordable and it's actually quite nice for a crop sensor camera. And when I was shooting on Sony crop sensor cameras, this, this was fine with me. On Sony full frame, I actually spent a bit more money and went for the uh, 10 to 18 millimeter, which is what you're seeing me film with right now, which is much wider than this. What I would say is if you're looking for an affordable wide lens on a crop sensor Sony camera, this is actually really not a bad choice. This here is the 16 to 50 on the A7S in uh, crop mode. One thing I don't like about this is that the uh, zoom and focus, because they're both electronic, if you turn the camera on and off, then they will change back to the default setting. Uh, not a big issue most of the time, but it can be annoying when you're working on a tripod and you've set up your shot. Here we are at uh, f3.5, and you can see that we can get a little bit of a shallow depth of field. Not really, but a little bit. I mean, uh, not bad for, for what it is. This lens is stabilized, but the stabilizer doesn't work on full frame cameras, which is quite annoying, but uh, whatever. Like I said, it's uh, not really ideal for full frame cameras anyways. When using a crop sensor camera, the stabilizer does work pretty well though. And also check out my uh, video in the links below where I did a wedding with this lens and another small lens and actually got some uh, pretty nice results with the Sony NEX6. And uh, yeah, did a whole wedding with uh, just this and one more lens. And here you can see the minimum focus is not too bad when we're at uh, 16 millimeter. And uh, here at 50 millimeter, still a pretty decent minimum focus. And here we are in full frame mode, and you can see that this lens is uh, not really suitable for full frame. This is 50 millimeter. And then here we go about 30 millimeter, and then about, uh, there we are, 16 millimeter. So not usable in full frame. Do also keep in mind that with the Sony a7, if you wanna record video with this lens, the video quality is going to look horrendous because the a7 specifically just has terrible video quality in crop mode. So on the Sony a7S, this is actually very usable in crop mode, but not on the a7. And of course, this is very usable on the crop sensor cameras from Sony. So check out my review of the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter, which is great for both full frame and crop sensor cameras from Sony. And if you found this review useful, then you can support this channel by getting yours through the links below from Amazon, eBay, or b and And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi tools, and lots more cool stuff.